Halloween. Spooky scary skeletons and it's a spooky season once again, and I thought about going back to some of the other Halloween games that we'd played. Like last year, uh, Bone Razor was uh, really good, and we didn't get too far into it for a special, but I thought, you know what? The murder of Sonic the Hedgehog seems pretty appropriate for a Halloween game. So let's uh, dive in. I know literally nothing about this game. I think it's a novel, like virtual novel, but uh, I do not know. Hello. Hello. Made it on the train 15 minutes ahead of schedule. I have no idea who this is. So far, so good for my first day on the job. Oh, totally nice. forgot my name tag isn't ready yet. I should make one. I'll just sign my name here. Oh, is this us? Okay, we're... <laughs> That, that's us. <laughs> I should put our name as Sonic. <laughs> yeah, you spelt it right. Most people put a G. Soliloquy. Soliloquy. Bruh. Uh, yeah. Oh. Can I? Oh, I have to use the mouse to select there. All right. Hope passengers can read my scribbling. Yeah, I'm not great at handwriting. Apparently, we're a little red fox this time. Maybe it's a fox. Dining car. Uh-oh, am I nervous? Is this first day on the job jitters? Working the train's dining car can't be that bad. Come on, shake it off. <laughs> uh, yes, you did see me hitting myself. Mr. Conductor, sir, how are you doing this morning? Oh, oh, oh quite all right myself, though feeling a little bittersweet. Ay, ay, ay. Trying to butter me up on the first day, are we? Yes. If you're the boss. Alas, today's my last day as conductor. I'm retiring after 32 wonderful years. Time for me and the Mirage Express to say goodbye to one another. Oh, congratulations on retirement, sir. So you're not my boss. Thank you. My wife is very excited about it. She's already got our plane tickets to Spagonia locked. Locked? Our shower's been on the fritz, so I'm excited to use the hotels. Ha ha ha. Ugh. Brother, Brother ew. <laughs> Have you not been showering? I can see why his wife's excited. Ugh. Oh! Enough of my quibbles. Today's your first day working the dining car. Here's the menu for today. Menu added to your inventory. All right. I can open the inventory anytime I want to view items. Got it. I should look over the menu carefully. Chili dog, ramen, chicken cordon bleu. That's quite a variety there. Ra like instant ramen is pretty low. Chili dog is, I guess, middle, and chicken cordon bleu is quite out of place. <laughs> Never mind. Microwaved chicken cordon bleu sounds awful. All we have on the train is a microwave. And a head chef MC. Though I'm sure a little quiz is in order. Which of these do we serve in the dining car? Ugh. Microwaved crab rangoon would be phenomenal. And by phenomenal, I mean willing to kill somebody. What the hell is picky? Whatever. Glad you could read the menu. Okay, okay game. Don't be condescending to me. A little about the vessel. It is an estate. This is a state of the art high speed smart what? Huh? Oh, this is a state of the art high speed smart train with all the latest gadget. Okay. This train can really handle anything you throw at it, including a Hulk. We've had a lot of adventures together, me and this train. It's not easy to leave. After 32 years, I don't blame him for being wistful. This train is used exclusively for events, so it's not a passenger train. I remember that from the interview. What's the event today? A murder mystery party. Nothing better than some thrill thrills to end my tenure as conductor. Oh, it's a murder mystery party? Alright, well that's disappointing. I thought we were going to actually see Sonic dead. Guests will be funneled through here to the dining car as a home base, so to speak. 
I'll be with you to gather tickets, but after that, you'll be on your own. You're the murderer, aren't you? Uh, so I'll need you to do everything in your power to make sure our paying guests are well taken care of. Understood? Yeah, I got it. Glad this old man can rest easy. Doors to the Mirage Express are opening. All aboard. This is a reasonably looking bullet train. Oh. Okay, it's like, uh... Okay, well that's obviously Knuckles. That looks like Amy. I'm assuming that's Sonic? Hey, okay, there we go. I was right. One for... I didn't see Tails in that. Wow, this train is incredible. What fascinating tech. Oh shit, Vector. I have not seen Vector in a game since Sonic Heroes. I don't remember the Bumblebee. He hangs out with a Bumblebee and the other Echidna, but I don't remember what they're called. I could get used to staying on a train like this. What did you all expect? You know I always go out for my birthday party. Oh, it's Amy's birthday. Oh, and there's Rouge. Uh, this train's as elegant as you are, Amy. Can't promise I won't take anything, though. Huh? <laughs> okay, calm down there, Rouge. Did I not just catch you stealing from the train station gift shop? Was a pen, knucklehead. Who's gonna miss a teeny tiny pen? Okay, I did not realize Rouge was a, uh, kleptomania? Get a hold of yourself. You're sweating through your uniform. Hey, pal, can I get one of those chili dogs? He said the line. Arg? Of course, sir. Or righto, righty-o, friend. Righty-o, friend. Well, aren't you friendly? Why can't I be normal for one second? Uh, Sonic, wait until I announce everyone's roles to get food. Sorry about that, birthday girl. I'll be coming around to collect everyone's tickets. Please have them out and ready. If this was an event, wouldn't it be, like, a guest list rather than tickets? You'll join me, won't you? Just click on whoever you'd like to talk to and we'll collect their ticket. Alright. Ah, uh, yeah, this guy. This is who I was thinking of that was an echidna, but he probably isn't an echidna. And then the bumblebee. Right. Moody. Shadow. Here. Okay. Thank you, everything is in order. He seems concerned about something. Yeah, he just came from his job at Starbucks, judging by his uh, barista's outfit there. Do you sell gift bags here? No, sadly, but I have a plastic grocery bag in the back I could get you. That stare, burr, so cold. You're shivering, do you need me to fetch your jacket? No, I'm good. Uh, okay, well, we've got his ticket. This is one of the newer characters that I don't actually know. I haven't played a Sonic game since, uh... Ooh. Sonic Mania, I think, would have been the last one. Well, hello, you two. What can I do for you? Morning, ma'am. Can we get your ticket? How forward? Let me fetch it for you. Okay. She's got one, too. Come back if you need anything else, you hear? Wow, she's so polite. Very easy to talk to as well. <laughs> Ma'am, I saw you sneak that $20 bill out of my pocket. Wait a second, $20 bill? I didn't realize the Sonic Universe had cash. Gonna have to kindly ask for that back. Oh, this was yours? Must have slipped out, here you go. Yeah, I may not be the actual best at judging character. No, evidently not. So who's this? May I have your ticket, please? Okay. Thank you very much. On top of it, I see. Blaze. A princess. Okay, apparently she's a princess. A princess such as myself must always be punctual. Princess? Did she say princess? Yes, I, that's what she said. If you don't mind me asking, are you visiting from somewhere? A separate dimension, actually. Okay? Just here for Amy's birthday, then I'll pop back to my own dimension. All right, now even Sonic is multiverse. I quite prefer the birthday cake from this world more than my own, so I admit I'm a bit excited. You don't say. Well, I hope you enjoy your stay, princess. Sounds sarcastic. 
Should I bow? Do I bow before a princess? No. What are you doing? Please get up. Why can I not win with this group? Didn't even give me the option. Oh, hey, shit, I can... Is there other things I can click on in here? Besides the obvious characters? Oh. Okay, the picture is bigger than I thought. Can I please get the birthday girl's ticket? Why, certainly. Thank you, miss, and thank you for choosing our fine train for your birthday festivities. Well, the birthday discount certainly helped. Who doesn't love a good bargain? And a murder mystery train sounds so exciting. It's right up my alley. Who doesn't love a good thrill? Uh, I'm a girl who loves a good true crime podcast. Maybe we should leave her to have fun. Before we move along, miss, for you. Oh, I thank you. Where do I use this? It's a key of some kind. That unlocks any door in the train. Happy birthday. The birthday girl gets the birthday key. It's practically tradition. Okay. Very useful. We'll use this wisely. Thank you. Any door in the train. Like a one-off? Or like... Hello, my friend. Can I get your ticket? Yeah, sure, of course. As a gentleman of upstanding morals, I'd love to show you my ticket. You oh, yeah. lost your ticket. Bruh. He seems to be avoiding eye contact. Is something amiss, sir? I seem to have misplaced my ticket. Could you speak up a bit? I can't quite hear. I misplaced my ticket. I don't know where it is. He's not hiding his embarrassment very well. Don't you worry. We'll take a look around for you and see if it turns up. That would be amazing. Thanks a million. We should keep our eyes peeled for his ticket. Well, that's probably the ticket right here that I saw earlier. It's sticking out of the napkin holder. It's crumpled up, clawed all the pieces. Let's return it to the rightful owner. Okay. Well, let's talk to him again. Find anything yet? Well, we might just have what you need. This one. Okay, cool. So we can use our inventory on people. There it is. That's my ticket. Thanks so much. Why were you chewing on your ticket? Was really worried you'd kick me out. I'd miss the murder mystery. I would have my hands full kicking you out. Yeah, no kidding. You're right. I wouldn't leave without a fight. Oh, naturally. Why not? I'm glad you... Yeah, wait, who made me both microwave expert and security guard? Wait, I thought it was the ticket collector. You're both all right in my book. Thanks again for the assist. Of course, let us know if you need anything else. All right, well, let's take a look at this, I guess. Yummy, don't mind if I do. All right, we're taking the snacks. Oh, those are for our guests, you know. Train, be sure I only get one if they ask arm. The arm just kind of nod? Actually, train, the conductor wants me to have the whole plate. Good try, young fuck. The train and I have worked together a long time. You'll have to work harder than that to get what you want. Those snacks look really tasty, too. Okay, so we're gonna have to come back and click on this, presumably after we talk to Sonic. That's gonna be my guess. Could we please see your ticket? What is this guy's name? Espio. Okay, right. Excellent. Thank you, and I hope you enjoy your stay with us. I mean, he has a rose? There's a calmness about him. Something about his presence puts me at ease. You consider me calming? Oh, right. He's looking right at me. I study ninjutsu. I believe one can communicate through the subconscious. Sounds like a lot of difficult training. It also sounds like you've read my mind. Can you cling onto walls? Is he a chameleon? I most certainly can. Yeah, he must be a chameleon. The conductor looks a bit too smug at that answer. All right. Ticket, please. Thank you kindly. Happy to have someone as renowned as yourself aboard. Oh, so Sonic is famous in his own world? Don't worry about it, I just like helping. 
When Eggman took over, I truly feared the worst. I don't think Eggman has ever successfully taken over, Mr. Conductor. But my kids swore you would swoop in eventually, and you did. I can't offer much other than my sincere gratitude. In what game did Eggman take over? Don't sweat a thing, I'm glad you and your family are safe. Is he, is he Sonic the... How many blue hedgehogs are you aware of that exist in this world? I promise you an excellent stay on our train, Sonic. Have fun now. Yes, have fun now. Will do, thanks. Can I get your ticket? Youngin'? Right here, sir. Thank you, may I offer any of the snacks we have on board? No, thank you. When I travel, I always pack my own... Sparkled gelatin? It's a sparkly jelly that can melt any jaded heart. Is your heart jaded, Tails? Is that what you're trying to get a hold of? No way, I brought my own sparkle gelatin with me too. It's my first day and I was a little nervous. What are the odds? You're doing a great job so far. We're gelatin buddies. Hey, that yo, sounds awful. If you need anything, just let us know. Thank goodness someone in this train is normal. But Tails is far from normal. All right, I was wrong. I guessed it was Sonic that would get us treats, but it must be Knuckles. Howdy. What? The conductor, are you making fun of his sheriff outfit, Mr. Conductor? That ticket is also crumpled up a little bit. But I don't want to argue with this guy. Yeah, Knuckles doesn't chuckle. Seems the conductor doesn't want to argue either. Hmm. All right, everyone, time to read out everyone's role for the murder mystery. And that's my cue to leave. I must prepare the driver's compartment for departure. Ah, the conductor's car. You remember our promise, yeah? You'll do everything in your power to make sure our guests have a safe and enjoyable time on the Mirage Express. Ah, uh, absolutely. To be honest, this group seems plenty capable on their own. And the train? Assist me if they need any help. It's all I need to hear. You have my trust. Nothing more heartwarming than a conductor in his train. Aww. Excellent. I'll be off. I must take my leave. If he's the murderer, I'm going to be really upset that I called it in the first, what, five minutes of the game? Uh, I must take my leave, everyone. Please have a phenomenal time. And don't worry about mucking the place up either. This train is state of the art and has a system for dealing with all that, so we can destroy it, is what you're saying. For everything else, please talk to me here if uh, you need anything. Sounds good. Absolutely. Will do. Goodbye now. I like that guy. Thank you all for following the outfit guide I sent you. You all look amazing. I trust you read your lore cards as well? Lore cards? That must be the details of their motivations. I suppose it makes sense lore cards aren't read aloud, otherwise people would know the murderer's intentions. Now on to the nitty gritty. For the murder mystery game, one of you will be murdered and the rest, suspects. Everyone has assigned roles for characters they will be playing. Participation is required for it is my birthday. All right, Amy's one of those. Oh, brother. Of course, birthday girl makes the rules. Yeah. Sonic, you are a ship captain and you'll be stationed in the conductor car. Naturally, that's where the captain would go. Tails, you are a detective. You'll be here in the dining car. Indubitably. Oh, good. Knuckles, you're the sheriff around these parts. We'll find you in the saloon. What was the name of the saloon? I feel like it was uh, in Sonic M Mania. There was the two levels that were the saloon. Mirage Saloon? Is that is that a callback to this? Because we're on the Mirage Express. Rouge, you're a business tycoon. And Blaze, you're a titan of industry, both in the casino. Oh yeah, send the uh, klepto to uh, the casino. What's the difference? There is none. <laughs> Sounds fun. Vector, you're the butcher. Okay. Explains the uh, the the blood on the, the outfit. SBO the poet, both found in the library. Why is the butcher in the library? And what? Read? Maybe we can make a tower of books or something. Yeah, you go. Shadow is the locksmith hanging out in the lounge. I don't know if that is locksmith outfit, but whatever. Uh, and Amy, the journalist reporter, I'll be moseying around with everyone. Did you get all that? Yes, I got it. 
I was listening in. Hope that's okay. More than all right. You can help ensure everyone's following the rules. And that reminds me. I have a map for each of you. Okay. Dining goes to saloon, goes to library, goes to casino, goes to lounge, goes to conductor. All right. Map added. Thank you. The rules of the game are as follows. There's a murderer amongst you all. The murderer can kill a single participant however they choose, but you must be physically present with the victim for it to count. Everyone else must collect evidence throughout the train and use it to interrogate fellow passengers to figure out who done it. The murderer will lie to get out of being accused, so inspect everything you can. Find clues, interrogate. I'll set a timer for one hour so everyone can mingle and the murderer can do their thing. Is everyone ready? Sounds like everyone's excited. Everyone to your stations. I wonder who's gonna be murdered. This is exciting! A murder is unfolding right under our very noses. Ah, uh, yeah, how thrilling. It's a real murder. Isn't it just awesome? Shouldn't you to be out there mingling with everyone? Well, actually, the detective and the journalist can't be the murderer. So we're stuck here for an hour before going out and scoping the place. Okay, that makes sense. I was worried that it was like the detective was gonna be... This way, there's always a neutral party. Makes sense to me. Seems as though Amy's more excited about deciphering the mystery anyway. Yep. What do you think everyone else is doing? Murdering each other? Probably? Inspecting the stations, talking amongst one another, murdering each other. Everyone has roles to play, so they must be exploring their characters, murdering each other. Do you know what their character motivations are, Amy? No, the lore cards are confidential. No one knows but the person who received them. Who wrote the lore cards, then? Uh, my story is I was best friends with a flicky that decided to join Dr. Eggman, kickstarting my desire for justice in the world. How did that kickstart your desire for justice? Amy is a nosy person turned journalist. Uh, lore accurate. Sounds kind of fun. Wish I wasn't stuck on microwave duty. Okay. The train started moving. It's so fast, grab onto something. What's going on? The... I'm slipping. It's a bullet train, guys. Were you expecting the train to be stationary? There also tails you can fly. Can you not? I guess maybe. Uh, okay, I'm confused. Hey, they got bottles of wine up in there. You're both awake. Yes. Did we get knocked out by the train moving? Seems the train has slowed down considerably. Uh. How exhilarating. Production on this train is astounding. Yeah, Amy's with me. It's definitely more intense than I expected. Yeah, well, sure. We've been knocked into the dining car's closet. This train can reach such incredible speeds. It's a bullet train. We're getting our money's worth with this experience, that's for sure. Is this actually intended? It's my first day, so I'm not really sure. I don't recall them warning me about this in the interview. Yeah, of course they wouldn't warn you about it in the interview. We should go and check the others. Can you get to the door? Yeah. Well, I can get to the door, but I can't open it. Wait, you brought your Pico Pico hammer? You did not bring your Pico Pico hammer. Let's find another way out. I'll start looking for clues. I'll search over here. I know, Amy, she's hiding something. She didn't bring her hammer. I suppose she did wake up before us. Something could have happened. Listen, I know I'm the detective here, but all the best detectives have sidekicks. I'm gonna need your help. Oh, good, I'm, I'm the Watson, am I? Let's gather clues on why Amy's acting this way and interrogate her about it. Check out everything you can around this closet and we'll show, uh, show it to Amy to uncover the full situation. Gather evidence and interrogate. Got it. All right, so this is the tutorial. I'll need you to do everything in your power to make sure our paying guests are well taken care of. Understood? A flashback already? That was like 10 minutes ago. You can count on me, Tails. I won't turn evil like your ex-flicky companion did. 
Happy to hear it. Now let's get searching. Okay, so... so there's lots of things that we can... Click on. No camera shifting, so let's start here. What's this? A rod? It's broken. Looks like it originally was connected to something. Alright. Yes, a weapon. A stick. That was not attached to the broom. What do we got here? Something's always hidden in the trash. Let's check there. Sadly, it's empty. It's a very clean trash bin. Okay, how do I become as optimistic as Tails? You can't- Oh, it remains clickable. That's unfortunate. We're gonna have to remember what we're uh, clicked on and not clicked on then. What do you think, Tails? Want me to cook any of this for you? When we get out of here, sure. I normally never make microwave meals. I prefer to cook. My cast iron skillet has gotten a lot of use lately. Oh, you're one of those, are you, Tail? I can cook a mean cast iron pizza. I've only had microwave lunches this week. What? Come on. A wet floor sign, keeping people alert and safe. Once I slipped on some spilled juice at the grocery store. No wet floor sign at all. Luckily, Sonic was there to catch me. Sonic really is as fast as they say. But he was going so fast, he also slipped on the juice. There's the Sonic. We slid into an older gentleman's shopping cart. It's the thought that counts, I suppose. The shelf blocking our exit. It's currently not budging. Look closely at this. There's a crack out of it. I wonder how the side of this shelf got smashed. There's nothing the shelf could have fallen into, and I'm sure this wasn't damaged before. The train has too much upkeep. I feel like this is important. We should log it. Crack on the shelf was added to your inventory. Okay, so I'm assuming this is kind of like, uh... Not Ace Ventura. What the heck is the... Detective... Detective Gumshoe and... Objection! What the hell is his name? Phoenix Wright. Objection! I had to actually look that up because I knew it had something to do with Ace, but I knew his name wasn't Ace. Ace Attorney. Duh. So this must be Ace Attorney style, where our evidence is in our uh, stuff, in our inventory, so to speak. What's the latest? You're guilty. I found a spoon. If we use two more, we can dig ourselves out. Yeah, sure. On a train that's moving. Uh, let's try talking. Oh, it's the same thing. Okay, that's not useful. Start interrogation. You're hiding something from us. Oh, it plays some fancy accusing music. You accused me on my own birthday. Yeah, not of being the murderer. You're just incompetent, that's all. Bruh. They accuse you of being stupid. I've been stuck in here just like the two of you. What in the world do you think I'm hiding? Amy was awake before Tails and I. What could she have done in that time? She attempted to escape. I don't think you were sitting idly while we were knocked out. You attempted to escape the closet. Prove it. Show me evidence that I attempted to escape, or help me search for a way out. Do we have evidence to prove that? We do. Let me step you through this. Oh, it is really a tutorial. Find the correct piece of evidence from your inventory. Once that's been deduced, you must form an argument to fight back. All right, let's do it. What proves Amy attempted to escape the dining car closet? The crack on the shelf. What, some damage on the shelf is supposed to prove something? It fell over. Damage makes sense. Pop check I have no argument here. You're grasping. What? Oof, okay, Tails. Now what? Well, now we've... Oh, okay. I was. I thought it, you had to pick a single one, but you can chain them. That's, that's the important part. How does the crack on the shelf relate to Amy? So now I have to explain myself. Well, you see... When I get stumped, I like to think. What would Sonic do? Um, he would spin dash and bust through the door. He's always running forward, collecting rings, crushing badniks. He never loses. 
like an Endless Runner game. I play a lot of those on my phone. Oh, oh. No. Yeah, whatever works. It, I wouldn't want to associate with me either, Tails. Close your eyes and think. What would Sonic do and find your argument? All right, let's prove we're not grasping. Let's follow the train of thought and fire a comeback. Like Sonic would do. What? Okay. There's a mini game. I was not expecting that. It's kind of like a, uh, get the Chaos Emerald style. Sure, the shelf fell, but there's nothing around for the shelf to fall onto. You're telling me on a train this well kept, the damage was here before we arrived? Well, I believe someone is responsible for hitting the shelf. You said nothing was around for the shelf to fall into. What was the shelf hit with then? This thing. A stick. That is broken and looks very suspiciously like your hammer. What is that, a stick? You truly believe a stick could do this kind of damage? Oh. I'm not a huge fan of the isometric view, but, uh... I like that it's retro like that, the dream gear. You're right, a stick can't do this damage on its to the shelf on its own. But if it's attached to something, like a hammer... Okay, well that was just a guilty thing. This isn't a stick at all, is it? This is actually the handle to your Pico Pico hammer. You attempted to hit the shelf out of the way, but you failed and broke your hammer. The handle snapped right off. I didn't think, I don't think that's actually possible. So as you both said, I tried to get us out of here with my hammer, but I failed. I gave the shelf one big whap and the handle ripped right off. I don't think it did. I figured it was no big deal and tried to hide it, but I suppose my embarrassment got the better of me. She does look genuinely sorry about the situation. Well, why? I never expected your hammer to snap like that, Amy. It was one of my backups. It's a little lighter to carry around. Oh, okay, so it's not the actual Pico Pico hammer. I was gonna say, hitting a shelf and having it break, I didn't think I'd need it. Well, lucky for you, I'm a detective and I dabble as a mechanic. Let me see both pieces of the hammer. Just tight. What do you have a freaking welder, Tails? You welded it back together. It was cracked. According to my calculations, if you hit the shelf right here, it should do the trick. All right, stand back. The shelf completely shattered. Incredible. Yeah, it is incredible. Incredible, full of shit. Gotcha, bitch. We did it. We're free. Great job, Amy. Let's get out of here. All right, well, while we were trapped in there, someone legitimately went up and shanked. Shanked Sonic, right? Uh, wait, is that? Can't be. Yeah, Sonic is dead. Sonic! <laughs> someone murdered my darling Sonic. Looks like the game's begun. I'm finding out who did this at once. Amy, wait, I want to help figure out who did this to. Wait for me. What a whirlwind. I'm exhausted already. That was really convincing, Sonic. <laughs> Sonic? Okay. Body numb. Can't move. Oh. What? What are you saying? I don't understand. I just need to rest. Sonic? Is he actually hurt? He's not moving. Are these wounds on him genuine? My hand's on his wrist, but I don't sense a pulse. Am I doing this right? No, you're not. He's also wearing gloves. Uh, what in the world is going on? Is this part of the murder mystery, or is this serious? Yeah, it turns out he drank a tranquilizer. It was in his drink? I feel myself panicking. Calm down. What do I do? 
everything in your power to make sure our paying guests are well taken care of. All right, stop the train, make sure Sonic gets his medical attention, ruin the entire party because I'm a panicking pants. That's how this is going to play out. The guests are incredibly renowned, which means they must be remarkably rich. What the fuck is your problem, Conductor? So I leave their care to you, my favorite employee. I, am I your only employee? I started yesterday. The train conductor's the murderer. I need to catch up to Amy and Tails and get to the bottom of this. Even if this is a part of the game, I can't risk it. I'll keep everyone safe, Conductor. You'll see. That was a long-ass prelude. Oh, it's still not over. This is absolutely the decorations from the Desert Mirage or the Mirage Saloon level from Sonic Mania. It's... Oh, we gotta pick favorites right off the bat, do we? I like the music, it's kind of bopping. I also really like that Omocha up here is wanted. Absolutely. I looked around, but I don't see her. Ha. Ah. I think Amy's already gone ahead. Oh, it almost sounds like Casino Nights. It seems she's really excited, like a slowed down, chiller version of Casino. I'm almost positive that riff was from Casino Nights. You need something from me? Yeah, a question, really. What if Sonic is actually hurt? Tails does not think so. Sonic doesn't go down easily. He's on a train full of his friends. Nothing would actually happen to him. We're just all really committed to the mystery for Amy. You have nothing to worry about, promise. Plus, Sonic likes to nap in all sorts of strange spots. He's fine. Uh, we're not gonna trust Tails, the literal sidekick. Is this really part of the murder mystery game? Wow, meta breaking, or fourth wall breaking, or is there something deeper happening? I need more evidence to figure out what's going on. Prediction number two. Sonic ate a bad hit chili dog, and that's why he wanted to nap it off. All right, can I tag along? If you don't mind, is it cool if I tag along? Oh, of course, sure. Now whenever I need a snack, you've got me. Uh, as I said, the best detectives have sidekicks, so I'm happy to have you. If you ever catch me looking glum, though, just know it's because... Where's my lore card? You're... The last guy to work a case with me ditched our practice to join the Dr. Email. Yeah, the, uh, Flicky. Not a proper detective without baggage. This is true. Evarmans? Hey, Knuckles. What are you doing in my saloon? What the hell happened to your saloon, dude? He's trying so hard to stay in character. Knuckles! We're trying to figure out who murdered Sonic. I can see that. Amy moseyed through and told me all about it. Enough of that. <laughs> I wonder how long you kept that voice up for Amy. We were wondering if you could tell us what you were up to before the murder. Anything to help us establish your alibi and... Nope, I have nothing to tell either of you. Leave me alone. He's obviously agitated about something. But why take it out on us? I know better than to argue with Knuckles, so it seems we're on our own. We need to figure out what Knuckles was up to while we were all apart. Let's investigate for clues, then interrogate. Right, let's do it. Now, can we... Oh, okay. There's a lot more here this time around. Oh, maybe not so much glass and everything. Well, you know what? Here's where I'm going to call it for now. When we come back next time, we're going to continue investigating the murder of Sonic the Hedgehog. Till next time, guys. Happy, happy Halloween. Mm -hmm. Later.